The most common question I get from a prospective client when they call into Mitchell Wall is asking me, what is my process? My process can be broken down into the following component parts. The very first thing we will do is have a meeting. This could be a Zoom call, this could be in-person meeting, this could be a phone call. Essentially at this point, we are looking for the broad stroke concepts of your home. Do you have any ideas of square footage? Do you have a builder? Do you have a location? We will take this 30,000 foot view of your project and from that, begin to develop a proposal for you. The very first step, and this can actually occur during the initial phone call, is asking you a series of questions regarding your home. These are very broad questions, and we're just looking for the overall conceptual ideas of what you might know you want for your home. Do you have a square footage in mind? Do you have an estimated budget? Have you talked to any builders? Do you have any builders that you want to use? Do you have a site already, or do you need help finding a site? If you don't have a site, Mitchell Wall has realtors on staff that are more than happy to help you find one. Regardless of what your situation is, all of this information then comes to us, and we use that to develop your proposal. The next step would be developing a proposal for you. This proposal outlines our process. It goes into great detail about each phase of the project and it outlines the expectations, not just the expectations of what you can expect from Mitchell Wall, but also what we expect from you as a client. If our proposal meets with your satisfaction, you'll sign it and we will send a request for a small retainer. That 5% retainer goes towards the pre-design process. During the pre-design process, we will meet with you and have what we call a programming meeting. We will ask you a lot of questions in that programming meeting, and usually that meeting takes several hours. But the important thing is that we get as much detail from you that we can. Now, if you don't have answers to our questions, it's not that big of a deal. We will figure it out throughout the process. But any information you can give us at that point does help speed up the design process and provide us with more information for our programming document. We will also go with you on a site visit. We will look at all the different things that impact the design, where your neighbors are located, what views do you have. We will talk about all of this in great detail before we even select the location for your home. Once we have had the programming meeting and the site meeting, I will go back to the office with all of the information that I've gathered, and I will develop this proprietary document that we have called a programming document. In this document is included every single room that you listed as important to you, as well as every feature of those rooms. Now using our vast experience and using this document, we will establish a base square footage for every single room. What's really nice about this is that you can go line item by line item and see which rooms are using up more space, what requires more space. You can see how your rooms work in a hierarchy. Based upon that square footage, we can also provide you with an estimated construction cost for your home. This is really wonderful because before you have even put pen to paper, before we've started designing your house, we already have an estimated square footage as well as an estimated cost, not only for construction, but an estimated cost for our architectural fees, an estimated cost for landscaping fees, estimated cost for things like structural engineering. We try to present to you as much information at the very beginning of the process as possible so that you can manage your expectations. And if we need to pull back, it is far easier to pull back a design before we've designed it than after we have actually completed the design process. Once you've approved that document, we will assess our fees based on that estimated total budget for the home. This is where Mitchell Wall Architecture and Design will begin the design process for your home. Part of the pre-design process is also a review of all codes, covenants, and restrictions. These are the guidelines set forth by various municipalities in order to dictate how homes have to look. Do you have to have a required amount of stone on the front of your house? Are houses limited to a certain height? Do you have to have a minimum square footage? All of these covenants, codes, and restrictions will dictate our limitations for the overall design of the house. It's very important that we review all of these and have a firm grasp of them before we put pen to paper so that we aren't designing your house ultimately to have it fail when it comes to review. The next step is schematic design. This is where the rubber meets the road with the project. We will meet with you every three weeks after you have approved the programming document to present to you our designs. And we will continue to meet with you until you have settled on a design that works for you. The schematic design process is usually about six to 12 weeks depending, and that encapsulates the preliminary design phase of the project. We're not talking about details here. This is more about the overall form of the house. Once we have established the overall form of the house and once you have approved that design, then we will go into design development. Design development is a little bit longer than the schematic design process because it starts to get into the details. Where is the refrigerator going to be located? If you have a wet bar, what kind of storage do you want for that? Do you want to have a wine fridge somewhere? This takes a little bit of time, but every step of the way, we are providing you with 3D renders, virtual reality if requested, photorealistic renders. We are showing you what your home is going to look like real time as we are designing it. 
At that point, we would ask you to sign off on the design. Once you have signed off on the design, we will obtain a preliminary estimate. If you have a builder that you want to use, that's fine. We would talk to them or we work with a number of builders, all of whom would be more than happy to provide you with a preliminary estimate. If the preliminary estimate comes in and it is less than what we originally estimated the home was going to cost to build, then we lower our fees to be commensurate with that number. Once you have approved that preliminary estimate, you will begin work on the interior design phase of the project. Now this is a lot of fun. You get to work with our award-winning interior design team to select floor finishes, cabinet layouts, tile, appliances, light fixtures, plumbing fixtures, doorknobs, hinges, drawer pulls, everything that makes your home you you will work with our interior designers to select. It's not uncommon for a lot of interior designers to work on the interior design during the construction phase. We don't do that at Mitchell Wall Architecture and Design. We like to make sure all of our selections are made before we get into construction. And there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that when it comes time to get a competitive bid from a variety of builders to establish who's going to be building your home, they are all bidding on the same document. And that will provide you with a binding number that the contractors cannot vary from unless you authorize a change order. The second reason that it's great to do this before construction begins is that your contractor will be able to order everything and have them on site so that you don't pay for time spent sitting. Running concurrent with the interior design phase is the construction document phase. Now construction documents are when the drawings for the design leave my desk and they go to one of my associates who is highly skilled at the deconstruction and analysis of the home. They will take your home, they will break it down into its component parts, and they will figure out how the home gets built. All of the detail that my construction documents contain, all of the interior design details, all of those things combine to make a final construction document set that not only is highly detailed and constructible, but it also provides contractors with everything they need to know to build the house. Once we have completed the construction documents, if it's necessary to go through an architectural review board or a variance board, depending on your municipality and their laws, we will be your agent for that process. We will go to the meetings, we will present, we will bring material samples and drawings, we will do everything we need to do to make sure your house gets approved the way designed. Once the construction documents are complete, the next part of the project is going to be finding a builder for your home. We will help you locate a number of builders who will then all prepare competitive bids for the project. We will then ask the builders one by one to come in, meet with you, and defend their bids as well. Once you have selected a builder, their bid on that project is a contractual obligation for them to stick to. Unless you authorize a change order in the field, that is the number that they will bill you ultimately. At this point, Mitchell Wall Architecture and Design will again reassess our fees based on that number. At this point, many architecture firms would consider themselves done with the project. But at Mitchell Wall, we also offer contract administration as part of the package. Contract administration involves us going to the job site to oversee how things are going. We answer questions from the contractor. We make sure that materials are on site. We make sure things are being built correctly into the drawing specifications. We make sure everything is going the way it was supposed to. After every field meeting for contract administration, we'll provide you with detailed notes outlining everything that went on during the meeting. This not only serves as a basis for work going forward, but also gives you a compendium of details as to how the project has gone that you can refer back to if you need to. The final step in contract administration is the punch list. We would walk with you and we would go through the house in great detail, pinpointing every single detail that needs to be finished, touched up, repaired, whatever. Once those are all done, once the house is ready for you to your satisfaction, only then when you have keys in hand will we ever issue our final bill. That is a very detailed representation of Mitchell Wall's process. As you can imagine, this takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort from a lot of people. The more prepared you are, the more you know what you want to see out of your home, the faster the design process will be. We at Mitchell Wall would love to be your architects, and we know that we can manage expectations, manage construction, and manage costs and square footage better than anybody else in the field. Obviously, this has been a lot of information, and our process is complicated, so if you have any questions whatsoever, if you have any concerns, if you just want to know more about our firm, please give us a call. We are always happy to talk to people.